Whoop, whoop. Hey guys, I hope you guys are doing well. My name is Tanya from Art E Son. If you are new here, welcome. In this channel, I normally share my arts and crafts, some tips, a little bit of everything. If you are returning, you know, I truly appreciate your visit every time you come by. Um, disclaimer this video i probably should have uploaded months ago to get you ready for the holiday season but here we are i have the footage now so i might as well go ahead and upload it i'm going to be showing you how i create my christmas ornaments from my mini art prints of my tres reyes magos you can do this with any art print um size that you want or any picture image however you like um, now, I know some people may ask me if I'm utilizing cardstock. I am not. I simply go ahead and get my images printed at Staples. I like the paper quality. I like the ink. So to me, it just fits the purpose, especially if they're going to be laminated. Um, for this image, I managed to fit 10 of them. So that's 10 ornaments. I'll go ahead and use the slicer to go ahead and get these cut up so we can move along. Now you are welcome to use scissors if that's what you have or if that's your preference. I tend to make a lot of these, especially now I have to actually do a restock because these are popular. They're simple. They're one of my most economical ornaments. So this one is a favorite. I have to go a little quicker. So I'll use the slicer in this instance. All right, so I have all of these cut out. Now I'm going to go ahead and round the corners. You can leave them like this if you choose. I personally like a rounded edge. Um, so I'm going to use the We Are Memory Keepers Crocodile Corner Chomper. I'm going to use the half inch side. It does have a quarter inch, um, which, which it gives it more of a, a straight corner with a little bit of an angle but I like the really nice rounded corner so that's what I'm going to use All right, guys, now it's time to laminate these. So I'm just going to go ahead and line these up as best as I can. Um, and hopefully, you know, try to keep them from sliding. So I'm going to go ahead and um, put line them up with both the edges, especially the top once I keep going, just to try to think ahead of what's going to be easier for me to go ahead and get them sliced. They're going to look like this basically at, at the end of it, hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> all right guys now it's time to cut yet again i'm gonna show you with the slicer here just um uh, so i can part them but i personally in this portion just like to go ahead and use the scissors it's just quicker for me um and then once i go to actually trim the individual ones right i may go back to the slicer just so that I can stay away at least one millimeter away from the edge of the image to the edge of where I want to cut from the laminated portion you want to make sure you leave room otherwise the laminate it will separate so you want to make sure that um, you don't do that pay attention to see if there's any air pockets you may have to run um before run the the image through the laminator again before you cut either way i always make sure to run them once i cut them i run them again through the laminator after you cut them yep you guessed it it's time to bring out that chomper again 
All right, so for this specific ornament, I like to put felt in the back of them, um, but you can do uh, decorative cardstock, you can use ribbons, you can embellish your ornaments or your pictures in whatever manner you please. I personally like to use the felt for this one. I get the one with the adhesive already on them. It just makes my life so much easier. And normally I do green. I'm going to make a few with the red background um, because that's what I have out on hand. But also because once you put them on there, you can see it adds that color because of the transparency of the laminate. So it just gives it a nice little look. Here, guys, you do have to bring out the scissors because the um, slicer or the chomper, they don't work too well with um, with the felt. So you do want to do this portion by hand and just, you know, use the laminate itself as your guide. All right, so now it's time to make the holes. I use another tool from We Are Memory Keepers. Um, we're using the hole puncher, and I'm gonna use the 1 8 side, which is the smallest. Um, as far as the in-depth, I use about, a, I set it at probably like a six millimeter. Um, and I'll be honest, I just kind of eyeball the center. Sometimes it comes out really good, other times, well, you know. Um, now, um, I will note that you want to make the punch through the laminate side into the felt side because it just makes it easier to go through here i'm going to use some twine as my ribbon and then i'll put a decorative ribbon which um i get from the dollar tree All right, guys, and there you have it. Um, some people just want to put the ribbon through it and clip it onto the tree. That is fine. I like to give a little wiggle room, so I put some twine or some ribbon, maybe an elastic rope. Either works. Um, like I said, you can embellish these any kind of way you want. Now, the end product. Thank you guys for being with me. If you like what you see, hopefully you will subscribe and give me a thumbs up and all of that good stuff. I'll see you guys next time. <laughs> Bye.